Hello guys, today in this video session we will talk about what is WMI and how to repair WMI whenever required. So let us begin the session. So first of all let us understand what is WMI. WMI is a sub system of PowerShell that is used to monitor remote systems and users. WMI stands for Windows Management Instrumentation and it provides the standard method to query and store data. It also gives the common way to extract hardware and software information from a device. This picture explains WMI as MS implementation of DTMF's WBEM initiative. DMTF is the Distributed Management Task Force is the industry group that maintains and develops WBEM standards. WBEM stands for Web Based Enterprise Management. WBEM is a set of standards and technologies that allows the exchange of data across different platforms. As I previously said that WMI is a subsystem of PowerShell. So this diagram represents the connectivity through a local machine and when RM remote machine. So this is how WMI is structured here. Next we can see WMI components. That is the location in the picture you can see then the repository location is also there and the logs wbem slash logs the process which runs when wmi works is winmgmt.exe next i will show you how to extract serial number of a server using wmi in powershell so open powershell with an admin and type the command wamic bios get serial number and press enter you will get the serial number of the server very easily as you can see here next i will open wmi so i will go to run open run here and type wmi mgmt dot msc this will open wmi microsoft management console so click on yes and you will get the WMI console here so we have to just see whether it is corrupt or not so just right click on WMI and properties it will show you whether it is corrupt or not if that is corrupt it will be here like this it will show fail to initialize all required WMI classes that means your WMI is corrupt so next we will see how to repair WMI that is the main agenda of today's session so I will show you the step by step process let us proceed to see the steps to repair WMI so I will open the notepad with all the steps written here and I will proceed step by step I have mentioned these steps in the description of the video also you can refer to that so I will open run then I will open services.msc then Microsoft Management Console for Services will get open then I will go to Windows Management Instrumentation Service and I will disable that first so I have gone to the service and I will right click that service and I will disable and stop so I have disabled that I will stop that and I will click I will see which are the dependent services here so these are the listed dependent services I will note them down and just they are getting stopped one by one and this is how you have to see each and every service got stopped or not which are dependent so it is taking some time and the services are getting stopped here let us wait here yeah and we'll click ok so now the service has got disabled next I will open command prompt so I will just go to run or search 
I will type CMD and just right click and run as administrator it will open the command prompt for me so I will just copy and change the directory to WBEM so I have copied that and uh, I will just paste to the command prompt it will change the directory to WBEM and now I will run the next command that is the third step I will copy it from the notepad and paste it here it will start running just press enter so just wait for that to complete and we'll perform the next set of actions yeah so it has got completed now I will go to repository then repository folder so I will directly go to run so open here run and type WBEM so that will directly let you go to repository folder now I will rename the repository folder to dot old so let us rename that continue yeah yes okay so it has got renamed and I will now go to the next step just go to the notepad and enable the WMI service that is Windows Management Instrumentation service and all the dependent services which we have noted during the stop of this service so I will start this and I will also start all the dependent services one by one so I am sorting down through the status so that I can see which services stopped I will start them one by one and yes you can see the next set of service okay that is also got started then IP helper is there it is already running okay okay so I will check if any service is left to start uh, yes that is user access logging service so you can figure out your own way to start the services and see which has stopped cross check that okay so all the four services are stopped are started now let's proceed for the repository build so if you check the repository folder just click on yes you can see all the files have come okay now let us proceed to run the next set of command that is this copy this command and paste in the command prompt like before yeah so paste it here uh, okay it has not got copied I think properly let me copy that first uh, yes okay I will be pressing enter and this has gone to build the repository it takes sometimes around 10 to 15 minutes depending upon the repository size and uh, once it gets finished your WMI has been prepared successfully so let us wait for this command to finish and it is building repository continuously yeah it is uh, taking some time
and yes it is taking more time it has got completed and now you see the properties of WMI like we checked before it has now successfully connected to local computer so this indicates that your WMI has got successfully repaired thank you for watching this video do let me know your queries and suggestions and I would be responding to that stay tuned to my channel for more such videos till then goodbye take care